according to the cloud. And then I'll share my screen going here. Share. And you can see my screen, I hope. Uh, so I have, let's for example, go to uh, Helical Gear. Uh, I just want to go to that Helical Gear test. I don't know which test it was. Was it uh, test five? Just bear with me for a second. I don't know what. Uh, you know, this the one after this. Test number six. Okay, here, look at this question. The figure shows the helical gear of the previous three questions mounted on a shaft. It is not drawn to the scale. The distance from the bearings of the gear in midpoint is AP, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'll, now I'll, I may ask you, for example, here, saying that this fig, uh, no figure, I can say, uh, consider the intermediate shaft for your assignment one. Pass one data, pass one. Because not everybody will do pass two, so I don't want uh, people to, so it, everyone, this is gonna, the questions are gonna be based on pass one. Calculate the force, assume, uh, 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 not try uh, use helical gears of, let's say, uh, Xi, just making it up, instead of spur gears, what is the force on uh, bearing C in the vertical direction. Or with, what's the workforce on the left bearing? In the vertical direction. Do you understand this question? So there is no data. You know the data x ray because I have to specify the helical gear. You know the shaft. You know, you have calculated, you have given us a table with the dimensions, so you know exactly what that shaft looks like. So you can do this question with the data of that shaft, and everyone will have a different data, so they will have different results. Do you understand? I mean, you were able to solve this question seven. Yeah, that makes sense. But I'm not going to give you A and B because you know A and B. It is going to be in the in your. It is. They are going to be the results given to you as marker uh, numbers, not your numbers, but the marker numbers in the feedback document. Yeah. Because everyone get everyone has the feedback document, and everyone knows what those dimensions are. Yeah, so in terms of studying for it, should we just mainly focus on like Blackboard Test 10? Not, well, no, no, Blackboard Test 10 is just for the bolts. It only covers bolts. I only gave it to you to give you a, a flavor of how the questions are going to be. Okay. If you, if you do Blackboard, you'll only be able to solve the bolt questions. In the review, I'm going to review the whole thing. The point of Blackboard Test 10 is to tell you that the data in the questions will be based on the data in your assignment. Right. Now, I, I appreciate it takes time to get that data. For example, in a final exam, if I give you the data and you solve it, but the final exam takes two hours. Uh, so here you have from eight until 18, you have 10 hours to solve those questions. So you have time to go in and and I will, I haven't decided yet how many questions to ask, but probably I'll ask you 40 questions 
They are not all very difficult questions, but 40 questions, typical of the questions I, I asked in the final exam. So think of it as exactly pass preparing for a final exam in the, uh, in the old times. But there will be more questions, 40 questions, and the data for the questions are going to be based on, your, on the data in your assignments. Other than that, it is just like any other final exam reviewing the entire semester. Okay, yeah. Hal? Yep? Does that mean you think that um, like doing past exams would give you like a decent... Absolutely, idea? yes, yes. Uh, yes, past exams will be, will be helpful because the kind of question is going to be the difficulty levels, the questions are going to be similar to past exams, except that instead of giving you the data in the questions itself, I'll be referring uh, to your assignment one feedback document or assignment two feedback documents. Not to your calculations, but what the correct, uh, what is listed in the feedback document, depending on sometimes it's gonna be just in the assignment one template. So that's gonna be uh, fixed. So uh, the, the, the questions will, have, will be based on different data for different students. So they, you will have different answers. The difference from the past exams is this is not gonna be a multi-choice exam because it is impossible to do this in a multi-choice situation. I cannot give you five choices uh, where well, everyone will give a, have a different answer. So that's not possible. So it will be similar to the blackboard tests to the entire semester. You'll enter a number. And uh, also uh, for the final exam, you're not gonna be able to tell you if your number is correct or not. Now for the blackboard tests, I give you feedback. I mean, the blackboard gives you feedback because I ticked the box. That tells you if your answer was correct or not. In the final review assignment, you won't be able to tell if the uh, if what you enter is correct or not. And which you didn't know in the, in the regular final exam, you didn't have that chance either. So are we find it yep. out of date for that um, by the end of this week? Sorry, say it again. Um, so Will we you're, find you're breaking up, Chantal. Could you maybe get closer to the microphone? Uh, is that better? Yes. Uh, so we'll find out the date for our final exam by the end of this week then? Yes, uh, Friday, uh, well, uh, at the latest Monday. Okay, thank you. I think 40 is a good number. They are going to be at the uh, difficulty level levels similar to the past final exams. Uh, so it is, you have 10 hours as opposed to having two hours in the final exam. Uh, but uh, the questions are based on the assignment data. So it will take you a bit more to dig up the data. So that's why you have extra time. Also, of course, you cannot be sitting 10 hours in front of the computer. You have to eat, uh, you know, take natural breaks and all that. So 10 hours problem is more like, I don't know, uh, eight hours, seven or eight hours. So I think that 40, I think, hey, I think I'll, I'll stick to 40 questions. I'll confirm that when I, when I, uh, when I prepare, finalize my assignments. There will be easy questions. Mm -hmm which you can answer straight away almost. And there will be difficult questions, which may take maybe half an hour to answer. They all, they all gonna have the same weight. Does, does sort of 
Does that answer your discussion board question or the question now, Chantel? Or? Yeah, it does. I think it's difficult for me to make it any clearer, uh, but uh, I'm not going to ask you to redo your assignments, but I can ask you to redo parts of that assignment, but for example, selecting, look, I'm just making things up. I can ask you for your input shaft, uh, select the uh, design the bearings, uh, design hydrodynamic bearings, select the hydrodynamic bearing PV, for example. Everyone has a different in in input shaft, different force. So for that, uh, you, 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 uh, you know, you have different uh, total reactions on the bearings and you selected rolling element, rolling contact bearings. What if I asked you to uh, a question about a hydrodynamic bearing selection using your force data? That's a very legit question. Everyone will have a different answer because their data is different and I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna specify that data. I'm gonna refer you to your assignment. Yeah, and that was definitely assignment one. Um, no, no, assignment one, assignment two, and pass one. I can refer you assignment two as well, pass one. You're talking about the data, referring to data. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I meant pass one, yeah. Pass one, yes, definitely pass one, because I don't expect everyone to do pass two. Uh, and also, it will be difficult for me to, uh, to, uh, to process the answers if I ask you use whatever you want because I have to know which uh, one to take as reference so pass one is the reference yeah and what I'll do is I'll uh, download all the answers because I just checked that uh, from blackboard I can download all the numerical answers for each question like uh, for let's uh, say for Chantel answered first question answer was 25 Second question was 37, so I'll get all your numbers. Then I'll have to write, I haven't written it yet, but I have to write software to calculate those numbers based on your pass one, and then just uh, give you a mark based on that. I'll, I'll have tolerances. Uh, in, the, in, the, in the question, you'll see the same way as in the test, there is a tolerance mark, so you don't need to get the exact number. There's gonna be a tolerance specified for each question. Uh, so it is not, it shouldn't be that stressful that, you know, because you know that, that, that there have always been tolerances in the blackboard test. It will be similar here too. Yeah. So for study, if we mainly just focus on like, maybe just like redoing all the blackboard tests, past exams. Yes, yes, yes. And try to understand, uh, try to understand. Uh, your material. Uh, I think that's all. That, that's really all. That's what you need to do. I'll. Uh, I may also. Uh, I have a question bank. I'm also posted. Some of them are pretty dated uh, because it has been around for a long while. Arna, uh, last year have that. You, you remember what you know what I'm talking about? A list of questions with answers. Yeah, I remember the question bank. Uh, was that was that uh, was that useful? Um, I definitely used it a lot, but there was definitely some questions in there because you gave just like the final number. So I know yeah. I sometimes with, um, yeah, that's right. It is uh, like, if you got stuck on a certain question, there wasn't exactly like a way that you could find the working for. Yeah. I'll, 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 I'll probably go, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll post it anyway, uh, just, just as, as an example, but some of those questions are not really the questions I'm going to use. Uh, but I'll post it anyway, just in case people do all the blackboard tests and all that. So, okay, what do we do now? They can uh, try their, those questions. I still have my working for most of those, que like the questions that I did at least. So I could post my... Yeah, that, uh, I think that would be very good if you could do that, if it, if they send it to post. Yeah, I, I don't... Uh, I didn't do all of the questions. Those no, whatever you did, yeah, gaps. yeah. Okay, the end of the session. Uh, so Anna, what I'll do is uh, maybe maybe you can I'll I'll post the questions on the 
uh, reassignment folder in the assessment. Maybe either either send it to me what you have, or I, you can post it directly into that folder as well. Just as yeah. I might send it to you, just so you can check that. Yeah, send it to me. Okay, that's fine. Yes. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, if there are no more questions, I am closing the sessions session. First. Thank you. I, I'm gonna stop recording and. Do I'm it. gonna stop share. And stop recording. Stop recording. Yes, thank yep. you. Thank you, it's okay. In fact, it turned out that last time it, it sort of it stops. Uh, even if I forget it, it sort of stops it itself. So that's oh, okay. uh, it, saves, okay. it saves it. Yeah.